Manual lymphatic drainage or lymphatic drainage massage is used to help speed up recovery after liposuction surgery and to help decrease pain and bruising. My name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema, oncology, and women's health. As a certified lymphedema therapist and lymphatic specialist, I see a lot of individuals after their surgery to help decrease their swelling. So in this video, I'm going to share how lymphatic drainage massage is used and completed after liposuction surgery. Some surgeons want their patients doing lymphatic drainage massage the day after their surgery is completed, while other surgeons want their patients to wait a couple weeks. You always want to check with your surgeon for personalized guidance. In general, we see people do lymphatic drainage massage daily for two to four weeks after surgery. But overall, it is safe for someone to do more frequently or long term, as long as you're doing it correctly with the right technique and you're cleared for any safety issues. Seeking out a therapist that is certified in your area is always the best place to start so you can get those personalized treatment needs. Your lymphatic system after surgery works to help clear out any backed up swelling or backed up fluid, and it also plays a role in the immune system for healing. If your lymphatic system gets backed up or congested, that can cause more swelling and more pain. By doing lymphatic drainage massage, you're gonna help clear out that area, decongest that area, and get that fluid moving again so your swelling can come down. For this video, I'm gonna share lymphatic drainage massage techniques for the abdomen and the upper thigh and hip area, as that's where I see liposuction most commonly. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different in their type of surgery and their location, but what we're looking at as certified lymphedema therapists is where the surgery was and what area may be affected. Because we know that if you draw a line down the middle of your body and then across at your belly button, your body is made about into four quadrants within the lymphatic system. So what we're looking for is to get all of the fluid moving towards the lymph nodes, either in the groins or in the armpit area to make sure that we're getting the fluid moving out of that quadrant and then it goes all the way back towards the heart. So for a lot of my patients, I usually have them laying down on their back with their legs elevated so gravity can assist with this movement. But for the sake of this video and make it easier to see, I am sitting upright. We're always going to start with belly breaths. We know that everyone has a lot of lymph nodes deep in the abdomen and all of the fluid that comes from the legs and the lower core have to go through those lymph nodes to get back to the heart. And so think of the body or the abdomen area in four quadrants, put your hand on your belly, gently press inwards, take a deep breath in, let your belly expand into your hand and let go your breath. And then another one, breathe in, feel that belly expand and then breath out. And then a third and then out and then a fourth, and out. Good. From there, we're gonna go to the lymph nodes. We have lymph nodes in the armpit areas and then in the groin, and we really wanna stimulate all of them if we're looking at someone who had just general liposuction surgery. And so I'll start in the armpit, take the whole hand, place it gently in the armpit area, and then make large circles gently in that area. You don't have to press hard. The lymph nodes sit right underneath the skin. And we're doing about eight to 10 circles in that area to stimulate these lymph nodes. Because even though that may be far away from surgery, the lymph vessels do run to this area to clear out of the body. And then we'll do the other side, same thing. About eight to 10 times there, or however much time someone wants to spend. From there, we're gonna to go to the lymph nodes in the groin area. And so they're right about where the crease is where you sit. So again, it's best if you're laying down, you can do one at a time or both at the same time, but hands flat on those areas and you're going to do large circles there eight to 10 times. This is probably where I would spend a lot of times if someone had liposuction low in the abdomen or into the thighs and hips, because all of that fluid has to go through these lymph nodes to get out of the body. A lot of people talk about just brushing everything upwards, but even the fluid in this quadrant has to go to the lymph nodes here, and then they go deeper and they come out towards the heart. So you wanna start with the ones 
that are superficial or on top first. So after doing the lymph nodes in the groin area, we always wanna make sure that we're looking at which direction the fluid flows through the lymphatic vessels to these lymph nodes. So if you draw a line about where your belly button is, that fluid below actually goes down towards the groin lymph nodes to then go deep into the deep channels and then up to the heart. And so I know a lot of people will talk about doing massage upwards. And yes, if you're around the belly button area or above, that would be the direction to move towards because that actually goes to the armpit lymph nodes and then comes out. And if you have fluid or swelling that sits below, you're actually trying to think about guiding some of that low fluid towards the groin area. I know sometimes that seems confusing, but there are some diagrams out there that'll show that shows this pattern. When we're thinking about fluid from the glute area, the hips and the back area, that fluid will actually wrap around towards the front, going back to those lymph nodes in the groin area, or again, back up towards the lymph nodes in your armpits. And so when we're working on the back or the back of the hip, you're really trying to guide and wrap around that fluid from the back towards the front. So you're not always just going straight up, you're actually gonna wrap around. So wrapping around from the low back, that's about below the belly button area. I'm wrapping around, thinking about going towards the direction of the groin lymph nodes. Same thing with the glute and the hips and upper thighs. Everything's wrapping around towards the front. In each area, I'll spend about eight to 10 strokes, or if someone has more swelling in a certain area, I might spend a few minutes in that region just really trying to get that fluid moving up and out but everything wrapping around towards that front side. So after we've done the hips and the back area and focused all of our time on coming around towards the front, around towards the front from the glutes all the way towards the front of the groin, same thing with the lower hips wrapping around towards the front, then we'll work towards the thigh. And so with the thigh, what we'll do is everything again works towards that groin area I do about eight to 10 times in each area like I did before and making sure that as we get towards the sides and the back of the leg that we start to actually wrap around towards the front. So the vessels will again will come towards the front for every area. And so back of the upper thigh, kind of guiding towards the front of the groin, but still making sure that you're hitting all of the areas that you need. Now, if someone has swelling down below or surgery lower and they wanna to go towards the lower leg, it's still just guiding everything up and out of the lower leg and then working towards the thigh, back towards the groin. But for the sake of this video, most people that I treat really just have the issue from the knee and above and the lower abdomen. And so after we've done the thigh, going back to the groin, I might go back towards the hips and really just making sure we're guiding some of that fluid up and out. But then what I'll do is I'll spend a little bit more time in the groin area doing some more circles to re-stimulate those lymph nodes because all of this fluid we just push towards it and we want to make sure that they're speeding up to get rid of some of this extra fluid. And after we've done those circles, then I wanna make sure we go back to take care of the deep lymph nodes in your abdomen because of the fluid from the groin will go towards these ones and then back to the heart. So we're gonna go back to the belly breaths, placing the hand on the belly, gently pressing in, take a breath in, feel the belly expand and let go. And again. And number three. and a fourth. And out. Lymphatic drainage massage can take anywhere between five minutes and 25 minutes, really depending on how much area is affected and how much time someone wants to spend on it. Now, like I said, I kept this pretty general and showed the sequencing and the technique of which direction we go, but every person's going to be different in their needs based on their surgery and their amount of swelling. So always work with your therapist for more personalized guidance to show a specific sequence and technique for you. Always listen to your therapist for any safety issues that you need to address. Some people might have slower healing in certain areas that they need to change or modify their technique with. 
And again, make sure that you're always getting clearance from your surgeon or your doctor before starting any of this at home. I hope you all found this video helpful. For more videos related to this topic, be sure to subscribe down below, and I'll see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone.